Good morning, Cancers. If you want to come on in, have a seat for some symbolic support, and we'll do your November Rorschach in a reading in November for November. And let's explore. Cancers, while I was doing something different a little bit this month, you are my threshold to do something a little bit different again. So here is your ink blot made in your name and essence, both of them. If you want to take a screenshot to scry and gaze and gain your own insights, I did start your reading beforehand, but there were some technical difficulties. So, and this is what actually, so thank you, inspired a different way of expressing. I am going to gaze and write things down, and then I'll post this uh, accumulation of messages on Instagram if you want to I'll put the link below if you want to follow me there but when you're ready cancers let's close the eyes cleansing the palate releasing the race and the rush activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support all right cancers thank you so much for holding space for me to share my insights and I'm going to get in here and express Previously, what I had seen was a cake topper and two persons um, having a commitment conversation, some sort of declaration. There definitely feels like there's some sort of, this is the cake topper here, right? Whether it's two gents, two femmes, or a classic marriage, it doesn't have to be marriage. It definitely felt like a committal conversation, some sort of declaration and decision was made. Uh, there is arrows pointing towards this commitment, even if it's of yourself, maybe cancers, of the subconscious and conscious, psyche, psychic, you know, introvert, extrovert, two parts of the self coming together in alignment for that manifestation. Because with those arrows, it's making me feel like, yes, this is, um, you're really going to fight for what you want in life you know, fight for what you want. Uh, there could also be somebody in the military around you or someone who deals with like big guns, tanks, something along that lines, even like aircrafts, whether they're in spirit or still in self form expressed and, uh, you know, walking and talking with two feet in a heartbeat. But I feel like there might be some sort of pilot some sort of pilot around you. Hmm. Or infantry with um, big guns. It's almost like I can see like a, I'm sorry, I have a cat hair. Uh, mili military uh, wedding. Like it, and people all lined up with um, different guns or I don't know, thingamajobs that they, they would put on. Definitely feels like a manifesting is happening. A big old portal of manifesting. I can't get around that. This all feels like manifesting. And when I kind of tune in and scry through the camera because I get a different view, if this was a person, they could have their arms up like over their head. Like it makes me feel... Like, oh my God, this is happening. Oh my God, this is happening. When I follow that rabbit hole, it feels like the commitment. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I follow a different rabbit hole uh, that's being offered over here on my right side, it's, I don't want to hear this. So there could be somebody who maybe doesn't want the commitment or there's just something amongst the, if I go back to the internal self, you know, mind and heart or voice and sacral, something's not being heard. And this blockage, if you will, or obstacle uh, could be being manifested for some reason. Could be serving something. Cancers, I'm not going to lie. Could be serving something. I'm going to wander on over here to your colored ink blot to support as I'm being guided. Yeah, there's that commitment again, like it's right in here, commitment, but it feels like a commitment of canoes, 
so uh, emotional commitment as well not just a declaration but it brings me into that heart and mind feel something about the canoes it feels very uh, calming maybe somebody grounds you you have a partner or a friend or even someone in spirit is just really helping to calm you down and I'm on the one side I'm hearing a there's a hole in my bucket Dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hole in my bucket. Dear Liza, a hole. And what's the other side? Well, then fix it. Dear Georgie, dear Georgie, dear Georgie, well, then fix it. I don't know. But on one hand, it's like there's, just where the ink didn't land, right in about there. And, and maybe they help you. They help you, this partnership, this commitment, this commitment to yourself if it's not a person, an external person. Hmm. That's very, very interesting. Um, I see this canoe of commitment and this uh, emotional calming, like if there was all this kind of like stormy waters at some point. So Cancers, I feel like maybe up in two into November being the inspiration, but not not the be all end all, right? It's just the inspiration of the month being 11 and you definitely have this uh, boundary of one, one, one person, one person, internal, external. But if you can see with me here, the best I can, it's like they look like mountains. So you've been through something or are going through something and maybe that was moving through that block and you really manifest and like push your way through this like how do I say that kindly without saying it grossly uh, like tore through your own universe your own maybe your own bull and or your own uh, analysis of sorts you know what I'm saying I'm trying to be kind because I don't mean it to be that feel that way but you've been through something and these mountains are very very grounding and like at the peak it looks like Mount Everest and then there's these two spheres there and they are holding up this canoe where this declaration in the colored ink blot though it's not vibrant it is very purple and brown so very for me that's revealing a grounding earth to human to the higher self of the purple realm and this spirit space in the center and it's holding up this canoe with these people in it making this declaration emotionally calm maybe you guys have been through some stuff together or like i said rabbit hole one rabbit hole two um just you yourself have been through some healing some upheavals and it's coming into a state of calm. Cancers, that's so nice, a state of calm. And these mountains that you've been through, like if you look at uh, Mount Everest and think, I'm gonna climb that. I don't see Cancers going, I wanna climb that because it's behind you now. And now it can be, uh, I believe it's in Feng Shui, where a picture of um, a mountain or something along that lines, can be very grounding if it's behind you, right? So maybe that's an inspiration. Instead of looking at uh, mole hills or mountains as obstacles, changing the perception that they can be very grounding. Um, and, oh, there's this feeling washing over me, Cancers, like it's uh, the ultimate earth support like this massive massive grounding stone like the earth has your back what you've been through what you you know have thought about it's very lovely though i see somebody doing the splits so i, I want to write down that mountain uh somebody doing the splits and it kind of looks like if i if i may sheep doing the splits the sheep symbology may mean something to someone um wool oh there's another isn't that fun um ba ba black sheep have you any wool 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three days full. I'm not sure if those are the words. Always apologize for my singing, but there it is. So Baba Black Sheep. And for whatever that may mean for somebody or the message in there is has something about the warmth and feeling very warm. And like this, this split was kind of like, ta-da, I did it. You know, like if you've been working towards, we we'll use the symbology as doing the splits, but it could pertain to this partnership or business, personal, professional, creative, or constipation. And these mountains like shoulder pads were on your shoulders to, to lift this emotional calmness up. But you practice doing the splits a little bit every day. And not just the splits, you do other things to enhance the strength. So when you go to stretch and do the splits, maybe you, you know, get a little bit more, a little bit more, and a little bit more. And then maybe you also, you know, run and or do leg lifts. Like there's other things that have been had over time, like the mountain over time. This could be a very significant soulful relationship or soul contract kind of feel or um, declaration of almost like dimensions of sorts. And I don't mean to, to wander out there if that makes you uncomfortable. Release it if it doesn't serve. But, you know, a person can be a whole dimension Right? There's so many multi-dimensions to a person, emotional, earthly, this, that, or the other. And making this commitment to maybe another aspect of the self or another person. And it's really, really calming. I'm also seeing now, um, what kind of ship is that? It's, a, it's not a battleship, but you know what? It's the closest thing my, my understanding in this very moment can can perceive is battleships at sea. So you also, I, there really might be somebody in the military or it's you, you've had uh, a history in the military or in the military or cancers. You're simply militant right now about doing the splits. This is your focus. This is your goal. And you're grounded with the mountains at the back because you're manifesting to fight for what you want and declare what you it feels very, very powerful, Cancers, because it's like you know what you're doing. Your shoulder pads at one point in time, the the weight I feel that once was um, bore, bore there, bear, it's fine, um, was heavy. It was a lot, like mountains uh, as shoulder pads. And now clouds of spirit have come in. So there's some sort of cleansing um cancers i feel like you you know what this is because it brings me back over here to what could have been the the obstacle or the block and it's being released if it's not already and like lifting up uh calmness it's just simply calmness and the battleships are just like slowly like they're not in battle anymore so now they can Breathe. These battleships are breathing. Hmm. I'm going to flip it to win it here. Let's get a different perspective. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as we're scrying and tuning in to see. I'm just going to cleanse the palette for a second. And I want to come back over here. There's a helicopter in there too. You have lots of... Uh, Is it arsenal or tools at your disposal? Tools at your disposal. Cancers. Like somehow you've built an army. Energetically, spiritually, like there's there's an army. And I can see like this helicopter slash plane. I know I'm doing a plane thing. Um, but it's really like seeing the fin circle around. And they're going into uh, this unknown and I say unknown because it's very deep in the purple hues so remember when I was amidst that Mount Everest kind of feel 
and there's like the you know cloudy smoke when the mountain still reaches beyond the clouds that's where i feel like you are beyond the clouds almost at the peak the peak of the mountain like you'll stick a flag in there but it's like you're going to swirl around this peak it could be in regards to that declaration i'm not sure private ceremony private it's a private ceremony and i also want to acknowledge that private i believe is a term also used in um i believe in like in infiltry like pri saving private ryan or something like that and forgive me I'm, I'm not entirely privy to the terminology it's just what's coming through There's a little pig. You're a little piggy. There's a playfulness happening off to the side of the spirit, like those clouds of the unknown before getting to the peak, peak of this, where this private ceremony will be had. Okay, they're not just little piggies. They're all like little animals. And they're the few that are invited to come to this private ceremony of sorts. Oh, wow. There's just really something that's being cultivated in the cancer energy. It gives me butterflies in my belly. It gives me butterflies in my belly. Yep. Yeah. But good butterflies, but still butterflies in my belly. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to move back on over here, Cancers. We'll add on some Tarot and Oracle for a moment. And again, always feel well if you took a snapshot, you know, to comment later what you see, sense, and feel. There's um, Poofy. I think, not 1980s necessarily, but kind of like 1980s. Uh, feels more like a pirate. Pirate. A pirate shirt like it's floofy it's floofy I don't even know if that's a word but floofy fluffy and somebody doing that uh, I think it's Russian where they're like this and then they're really really low crouched and the feet are kicking up like really fast but like in a flamenco style so there's something about uh, some sort of dance whether it's Russian and or uh, Spanish like a flamenco flamenco dance and it's all in the celebration and it's uh, pointing right at the feet like dance Dance, baby, dance, like the world is ending. Something like that. And I'm just going to wander on over here for one quick moment before before we add on some Terran Oracle. Uh, there's been paint splattered. Oh, okay. Um, what is that called? Do I have it in there? So I'm going to roll through my Rolodex here. Uh, paintball, 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 paintball. Maybe this is an uh, a course, an obstacle course in the whole uh, army like feel. Different positions, different placements. Maybe you play paintball, or it's a sport that can inspire you and kind of get some gur. Adia, cancers, if, if you're ever having a, you know, moving through this um, manifestation. Maybe, just, you know, doing something that gets, gets your gur, idea and brings it out to build that, you know, mountain of strength. And you have this team with you, but it's a very private team. Like, what, what is that called when it's 
you know, just the five or six people, even though you're amongst a big team of an infantry of, um, you know, the pilots and the sea people, I apologize. Sometimes I just don't, don't have the terms until later. And I know they're very, um, like the seamen. What is that? The Navy. Mm, it's okay. The Navy and the Air Force. But everyone has their place, right? And it's amongst this different pieces of this big team. But when you get down to your core, like who has your six? Who has your six? And it could just simply be in like a paintball thing. But the brilliance remains the same, cultivating these very trusting people in particular places in your life. And maybe in November with these this pillar of 1-1, one, one, and especially with Remembrance Day uh, upon us, that... Um, if you've had anyone ancestrally in the military or in the Navy, in the Air Force, thank you. They're going to be stepping forward and have your six. Does that make sense? They have your six. And if you're in um, a partnership and declaring, you know, your um, communion and your commitment in this conversation, you know, those same principles will apply. Trust, uh, having your having your six looking out for each other. Um, they might be more adept at things in one realm, like the Air Force. Let's say will follow the symbology because the story the story suits. And you might be really good on the ground with your feet dancing. But you bring those two together, and then they can create almost like this uh, balanced harmony. All right, Cancers, I'm going to put that off to the side for a moment. We're going to start adding on some tarot and oracle. Thank you so much for being here. And if I didn't look up at the camera, I apologize. I got very immersed. We're here for Cancers in your ink plot. The universe is in your hand in winter's dream. Coming up. Yeah, I feel, I, I'm honest, I'll be honest with you. I feel like there's some... You're taking the hand of someone and vice versa, personal or professional, but it does feel, feel uh, more heart space held in the spiral of the heart. And if you've been through any, any sort of heartbreak before, time to replenish, but I'm seeing it as in here. We we're talking about the manifesting and what could be a block. Maybe you've been hesitating to make this commitment. And you've had time. You've taken time. Uh, cancers. You've taken some significant time to replenish from any hurt. To welcome back in love. Even if this is for yourself. Stranger. But I do feel like may not be for everybody, but there is somebody out there that is, um, yeah, cancer may resonate that it's somebody else. It's somebody else. There's been a reconciliation when it comes to that empty well. So you've done it. You've moved through it. You've moved through the bullet uh, of sorts and whatever um, com combustion contaminants, like you've, you've, been able to bust through that and by busting through it you made a space to reconcile pain hurt sadness and sorrow of loss of anyone or or even a loss of a relationship that didn't work out and you have here grace and benefactor so there definitely could be somebody in spirit around you that was um in in the military of some sort and they're still working with you. They're still still working with you. And just it could even be like um you can see the card. Like they're just so happy and sweet. Like like grandparents. That which one makes me feel like it makes me feel like grandparents. And then we have a sacred contract in the reverse. And what I like about this being in the reverse is that it it confirms for me that the bullet 
of the past has been reconciled, that contract is now done. So Cancers, if you've been still serving an old contract out of habit, or it just seems to happen over and over again, you're that you're the final one that you know wins it and you can and you can move on to this new declaration right declaration of independence coming through as you may engage in a new relationship or partnership it's like you're not serving old contracts there's addendums and there's fortune wheels on the bottom and the feast of plenty so as you're moving through from the old contracts, maybe even somebody has been released, like you've served. Thank you. You've served your time and you've done your healing. And now you're like, okay, I'm going to uh, not relive that contract. New declarations. Six of Swords, you, you definitely know. You're not going to repeat things, Cancers. I'm just getting ready to close out here. And the Lovers. See how the turtle down here with that, with that creature thinking? The stranger is going to step forward to you. And when I say stranger, I simply mean it could be somebody outside of you for this private ceremony and this declaration. It's like it's taken you a long, a long time to to also commit because you've been through some stuff cancer you've been through some stuff but now that the reconciliation and has been had and the well the old contract is done is done i actually see it not only being ripped but like you can go through all the fine print and say i have completed all of these things i have lived i have learned and i'm gonna you know burn it to, to start a new declaration of my own independence and who I may uh, become interdependent with so individuals remain respected. And you've taken a lot of that time, but inevitably it brings you into that lovers and you'll have choice of this. There's choice. And they're dancing. They're dancing. One last card for the Cancers for November. In November, what do we have here? Eight of Pentacles. That grandfather energy again and kind of feels like a bartender. Even though I know he's not a bartender in the picture. Uh, seamstress or seam, seam. I don't know what the male aspect of a seamstress is. Interesting. Um, cut from a new cloth bartender of a bliss bartender plus like doling out doling out drinks of your declaration to celebrate cancers this just really is about celebrating where you've been and it could feel a little unknown but you're like way way up in the sky and i love it i love it so much it feels so good so i hope you enjoy this rorschach in a reading in november for november it's been my honor to ink inscribing your name and honor and until next time, thank you so much.